about you okay j house so someone here scorpio feels like there's something about you there's a reason there's something in particular something about you why this person can't leave you alone why this person can't get you off your mind like something it's like you're different than like anybody else that this person has dealt with okay it's something quite particular but this person can't really put their mind their hand on it about what it is but it's just something different about you okay I feel like, Scorpio, you were dealing with someone here that just wanted to have a good time. They just wanted you to show them a good time. Like, they weren't interested in a relationship or, you know, a commitment or even love. Like, this is someone who was just out here really looking for a good time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they had some little one-night stands, some little flings here and there, okay? But I feel like this person meant you, Scorpio, and it was something about you. Like, this person, they wanted to categorize you and, and say you were going to be a fling or a little one-night stand. But, Scorpio, it wound up being so much more than that okay i feel like some of you guys this was a connection that you guys were young when you first met this person okay or maybe you felt like you weren't old enough to you know to really settle down and know what you wanted okay or i feel like this person saying scorpio why you guys are still young like this person's thinking about this relationship or this connection they feel like why you guys are still young and can have fun like what we what we doing scorpio let's start wasting time let's get married you know what I'm saying? Listen to this song, Scorpio. This song is so beautiful, okay? I feel like, Scorpio, you're, being, you're becoming very successful. I feel like all you want to do, okay, you just want to be successful. Some of you guys, you are very successful right now, okay? And please acknowledge yourself for becoming successful, okay? But I feel like there's a lot of scars, you guys. Some of you have scars, you know, from maybe birth or maybe some type of accident or, or just scars of just being in relationships, being hurt in love okay but i feel like these scars are like physical scars you know from surgeries or you know something that, that's always going to stay with you but remind yourself scorpio those scars are what makes you beautiful even if you have something like on your face like a birthmark or something that makes you stand out or make you different or you feel different about yourself scorpio that's a scar that makes you beautiful okay i feel like someone here is feeling the pressure scorpio I feel like they're feeling the pressure because they're seeing you and they're watching you become very successful, okay? So someone here feels like they have to do something, like they have to make a move here, but someone could be feeling pressure to do something. I feel like this is something that they don't want to do, possibly change or do something, but I feel like your success, Scorpio, is making this person, I ain't going to say feel bothered, but they feel some type of pressure, you know what I'm saying? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. We're going to pull from this truth oracle, and then we're going to pull some tarot if need be, okay? Anything that's resonating for you guys so far, don't forget to like this video. Uh, messages for my Scorpios. Let me take one of these band-aids off, Scorpio. Okay. Messages for my Scorpios. Let's see what happens. Let's see what my beautiful Scorpios need to know at this time. Messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What truth do my Scorpios need to know? Messages for my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, look at this. Scorpio, this person loves you. I told you, it's something about you, okay? I feel like for some of you, this person could be realizing that they do love you. Like, this could have been something this person was fighting for a long time. They were fighting 
telling themselves or even acknowledging the fact that they do love you, Scorpio, okay? Because remember, we had, there's something about you. I feel like this person just couldn't figure out what it was. But it was something about you that made this person always, you know saying, to come back to you always. Like, it was something about you to where this person just can leave you alone, Scorpio. Let's just keep it like that. Let's just keep it real, okay? And it was, it was because this person loved you. And I feel like this is now someone who's realizing that they love you, okay? But this is someone who was hiding behind material things, okay? So I feel like whether this person was hiding behind, like, you know, the nice cars or clothes or, you know, brand names, name brands, labels and stuff, I feel like this person was really hiding their true self, okay? I feel like this person felt like, for some of you guys, like I said, you're very successful. Maybe this person, you know what I'm saying, was, was uh, what's the word I'm trying to use? Uh, this person felt... What is the word, Holy Spirit? Give me the word. Intimidated. I was about to type it in my phone. Like, what is this word? Intimidated. This person felt intimidated by your success. Remember I said this person is feeling some type of pressure. Like, I feel like they feel they got to do just as good as you or they have to be on your same level, okay? And it's could have been why this person chose to hide behind material things, okay? Scorpio, you could have had a nice house, apartment, condo, whatever y'all living in, okay? But it was like, it was nice. And it could have been better than what this person was living in, okay? Or your vehicle could have been better. Like, I feel like this is someone who really was of the world. You know, in the Bible says you shouldn't conform of the world. You shouldn't do worldly things, of, you know, that the world wants you to do, okay? You should do godly things. But I feel like this is someone who hid their true self behind these material things. They felt like, oh, if they had this and they had this, then this makes them fit in. You know, this is someone who may have when they were younger. You know, like in their childhood, because we had while we were young. Maybe when this person was young, they didn't come from a lot. You know, maybe they had a, a big family or, you know, they, they didn't come from a lot of money. And so this person, you know, when they got older, they told themselves, you know, I'm always rock the latest jeans and I'm going to have the nicest shoes on. I'm going to do this and that because they didn't get to have those experiences. This could have been someone, like, even through their childhood. Y'all know how kids is sometimes. We mean the people for what they got on. Like, this person could have been made fun of for how they dressed, you know what I'm saying, or what they looked like. So it was like if they got older, they told themselves, like, what NBA uh – NBA young boys, they never broke again. Like this person told themselves they would never be broke again. They would never want to live behind the image of being broke. Okay, so they tried to, to uh, they tried to get you to perceive them as someone who really had it going on and someone who was financially stable. Okay, not saying this person wasn't financially stable, but I just feel like Scorpio, they money, they money went long like yours. Okay, tell us more, Holy Spirit. Okay, so Scorpio, this is someone that you share a spiritual connection with, okay? This, um, uh, while we were young, kind of reminded me of this Six of Cups energy, okay? Some of you guys, this is your divine counterpart or a soulmate. But I feel like it was a lesson that this person had to learn, okay? Because remember, this is someone who was just used to dealing with different men and different women. You know, they just wanted to have a good time. They was here for, what they say, a good time, not a long time. You know, they were just in and out of bed, diving in and out of relationships. Because they wasn't looking for a commitment. They were just wanting sex. But then this person ran across you, Scorpio, and it was just something about you to where this person can never leave you alone. Like they all, it was like a boomerang, baby. They always came back to you, okay? But I feel like, Scorpio, this was a lesson. Like this is someone who taught you a very valuable lesson, okay, in this connection. And I feel like, Scorpio, you're grateful. I feel like you're the person that's grateful for the spiritual lesson because I feel like if you didn't meet this person and you didn't have this effed up experience with them, then you wouldn't have learned this valuable lesson, okay? And I feel like this valuable lesson that you learned was self-love, okay? Always love yourself. Always know your worth, okay? Care about yourself. I feel like you, you went on a lesson of, of self-discovery and you discovered and became who you were meant to be this whole time, okay? And I feel like because of, I feel like you had a choice to make or you had a path to take and you took this path. And I feel like on, at the end, Scorpio, you're very grateful for the person that you turned out to be, okay? Because you feel like if you never would have took this path, then you still would have been doing the same old thing, okay? All right, messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more. What do my Scorpios need to know at this time? I love you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? How spirit? I want to tell you how I feel. 
Like I said, Scorpio, this is someone who was just here for a good time or a long time, okay? So this is someone who suppressed all of their feelings, all those emotions, all those feelings that this person had. For a lot of you guys, this person probably never shared that with you, okay? This person has been holding on to how they truly feel about you, but I feel like now this person wants to tell you how they feel, okay? For some of you guys, this could be this person as well that's also grateful for this spiritual lesson, okay? Because this person... Crossing paths with you, Scorpio, also taught them a valuable lesson as well, okay? I feel like especially you walking away and choosing yourself first because a lot of us in the past, we would stay in relationships, you know what I'm saying, in situationships where we really weren't fulfilled or happy, but it was just because we were in that codependent energy feeling like we needed someone, we did that, okay? But now we cool being by ourselves. Like, we, if Lord be like, okay, well, we need you to be by yourself for about six or seven years or months or whatever, Scorpio, and y'all be like, well, shit, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I already know what's out there. I know ain't nobody got nothing to offer me anyway, okay? But I feel like because this is someone who I feel like never told you, because remember, it was something about you. It was something about you that this person couldn't shake. But I feel like this person never opened up and expressed to you how they truly felt here, okay? So I feel like now, Scorpio, this person wants to come in. They want to tell you how they feel, okay? For some of you guys, this person can even tell you that they love you, okay? Because I feel like this is something this person never expressed to you, okay? And look at this. I can't make this up. I feel you even though we are apart. So even though you guys are in separation, even though you're not communicating, even though you may not even be seeing each other at this time, this person still feels your energy, even though you guys are apart, okay? All right, so let's see who we're talking about, Scorpio. All right, messages for my Scorpios. Who is this reading about for my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Messages for my Scorpios. What does Scorpio need to know? Who is this reading about? Somebody, what does Scorpio need to know? Who is this reading about for Scorpio? Remember, this could be you, Scorpio, and this could be a description of your person, okay? All right, Scorpio, we got freckles. This person will wear hoop earrings. Okay, this person has braids or beards, and this person has abs or a six-pack, okay? Let's get a couple more, and then we'll get the signs, okay? Who is this reading about for Scorpio? Scorpio about someone who wears gym shorts. This could be about someone that's thick, okay, and about someone who has green eyes, okay? All right, let's get the signs, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio? Scorpio, we have Libra, Pisces, Aries, and Virgo. We have Pisces, Libra, Aries, and Leo. Any more signs, Holy Spirit? All right, we got Capricorn, Cancer, Aquarius, and Gemini. All right, Scorpio, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.